Oh, it looks like they fixed that bug with zero items in the uh, vault. Oh yeah, they fixed that um, actually a long time, a while ago now. They, now they said... Hmm. Yeah, I can definitely tell this is the um, one I was working on in the last video, because even with the respawn cost, I still have like 670k. Well, you appear to be standing in the stairs. I am. And there I go. Mm. Oh no. I never like it when you say oh no. I think my game just crashed. Yep. Yeah, no, when it, um, when it's finally finished, I think you're like the, uh, new chef. I've called it the Aegis, but it's a lot different to my normal design. How much so? Well, probably the most, out, from the outside perspective, the most noticeable thing from it is that the engines are going to have a full shroud around them. I mean, it's quite a big ship, so it'd probably be like a mid-game sort of ship. Because it's not enormous, but it is pretty hefty. Okay, I am excited now. Also, I, I uh, decided to do the engine bay first, so that... Once I had all my engines and that on, I put the power in basically second to last. Mm. So that I've got more than enough power to actually run the damn engines without having to build the entire ship and then think, shit, I need to add more generators somewhere. I actually never had that type of problem before because what I do is whenever I build a ship is I will design it, but then I will put on the generators first. So, at the end of it, when it's all done there, I'm stuck with all, with a limited amount of generators. So I can, so I need to try and make the most out of the engines. Yeah, I'm also not focusing on the, uh, the new ship being immensely fast. I mean, <coughs> as it stands at the moment, and it's still got a lot of outer shaping to be done, it only does 180. Yeah. So it's a little bit on the slow side. Ah, there we go. It looks like you're, uh, well, you're running on the spots. Good to see you're getting your exercise. Oh. What the fuck? The fuck was that? What? I just saw something go cruise, like a ship go cruising past the fucking window, and as far as I'm aware, we're the only players on the server. Oh, it's the, it's a drone. Also, oh. oh. That's pretty cool. That's a bit more, uh, life to the, uh, area, I guess. Did you buy anything at the Logicorp st print station? Oh. Uh, no, yeah. not yet. Uh, don't bother, there's actually nothing there. Really? I think either that or someone must have bought everything. 
Wow. That sucks. Wait, don't these logical stations auto restock then? Yeah. I'm wondering. I don't know where that happens. Because I'm not pretty sure that the one that sells the resources is like that, like it auto restocks after a while. And this course they came in and bought it up recently. It's actually been a long time since I just yeah, sorry. It's been a long time since I just did some mining. Okay, you take this mining bay, I'll take the other one. You know, I was looking at that little green thing on the front of the bloody, um... I forget what it's called, refinery, and I completely forgot that things can be upgraded now. What do you mean? The uh, upgrade, the, the upgrade um... Yeah, I completely forgot that they were a thing now. Take that carbon, I'm just gonna bomb the carbon straight into the vault. Speaking of Anyway, like I was saying earlier, the um, funny enough, the Interstellar Rift series is actually one of my uh, high, well, is my highest performing series view wise, and it's my most consistent view wise as well. Well, not a lot of people play this game, it's one of the reasons I like it. It's one of those, like, um well, you can't really. Well, kind of a, one of those hidden things that you kind of have to look for. It's a hidden gem. Because it really is as well. Like, this game is fucking amazing. I love it. Oh, shit, yeah. But not just I need that. To it's... press the button. But not just that, it's also. Yeah. Uh, it's sort of also a different approach to the whole automation game as well, because in here you're literally using teleporters instead of. Uh, um. Uh, what are those things called now? Um, conveyor belts. Logistic pipes? Oh, conveyor belts. Yeah, I mean, the use of conveyor belts is pretty much minimal. It's only really the refinery that does it. And that's just to give you the resources once they're done. Time being, I'm just gonna collect the copper up so that it's stacked into nice and neat full stacks. Um. Oh, we do already have a ship, by the way, but um, because we're starting with those, I suppose you. Be able to pick up um, another one, wouldn't you? I thought we actually needed needed to build the new ship, so I'm refining all the resources I possibly can. No, it's only with the pirates that you have to build the first ship. Oh yeah, I forgot that when you that those cold supplies you get on the ship. Actually, the reason why I decided to start Hells and then later on move on to the pirate faction. That's the curious. Does defecting to another faction affect the approval? Mm. I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we get to that stage, won't we? I would assume so. I mean, I wouldn't assume that, you know, you just change faction and they're not even in the crap, but I suppose it's possible. Give me. And the copper as well. Do, 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 do. 
Uh, actually, we're not doing too badly on resources already. Nation. Uh, carbon in there. Um, this one. Also, with this, are we actually, since we discovered that we're somewhat more competent with running two ships at once, is that what we're going to do in this, or are we just going to run the one ship and just be us? Okay, first of all, what do you mean, but be us? The best parts ever, obviously. Oh, okay. Um. Because we're a hundred percent competent. <laughs> okay, let me quickly go check something so I can make sure. Boom. So. I think we're going to need to use our uh, one ship for now. No, oh, that's fine, because I already have a ship in storage, so I can drop that out of storage, go and check on how its power's going. I don't... It should be okay, because I was using it for an entire video last time, so... I don't think it charges when it's in storage. No, it doesn't. No, that's not the one I meant to click. I don't want to transport to the exact same place that I'm going from. Systems are saying. Uh, ship stats. Mm, just over 7,000 fuel. The batteries are still charging. Um, basically, full oxygen. And yet to get a scratch on it. <coughs> Renamed the ship. Uh, I'm going to need access. Oh. I completely forgot about that. My bad. Ship access. Uh, crew. There we go. 
Also, the new ship that I'm doing, I need to work out how to lock one door off from people from the outside, but allow two of the doors to be used and also for people to actually get to the teleporter. Because mm. it has like a little welcome area. Oh, so that's what that is. The little yeah. ship that you saw flying around is not ac isn't actually a defense drone. It's a trade drone. Oh. I've always wanted to see trade how this war is looked. Well, it looks like the industrial complex is having a bit of an issue over there. How do these trade drones even work? Um... Oh yeah. Let's quickly get rid of this storage notification. I mean, I would guess they work similar to the other drones. I don't know, because you can only get to the defense. Unless they're not fully implemented yet. Well, this is the stable game, so they should be implemented. Hmm. Uh, I would have thought you'd access them using the uh, same method as, as you would for the other drones, but I guess not. Anyway, where do you want to go? Um, anyway, really? Mm. Ooh, Let's see what we can go and find. That is a big rock. No, no, no. I see something flying. Really? Yeah. It just shot out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, so do I. That tiny little speck that just kind of shot into the distance. Yeah. Just my imagination, is it outrunning us? Don't know, but... Yeah, you take control. I'm gonna see if I can catch up with free cam. Okay, okay, which way is it going? Which way? Well, there's another one to the left side of it, no, to the right side of us, rather. Water asteroid, water asteroid. More asteroids, and... Okay, I don't see anything out here. These massive asteroid fields they have. I like how they spaced all the asteroids out a lot more as well. It's nice for gameplay, but hey, but it does make it a lot more of a nuisance to get certain resources. slow down to about half speed. Yeah, that'll do. Actually, oh, stop. drop it just a little bit. Oh, stop him. There you go. I found... Need to back up a bit. Um, wherever we are, there's zinc ore here. Really? Yep. That's actually kind of a rare one to find. Okay, now I'm just seeing iron and carbon. 
do you want me to go back up to the bridge and move the ship around slowly? Yeah, I think that would be best. Right. I'm only going to move it at like 20 meters a second. Oh, I've got my thumb ready on the stop button. Hmm. You think maybe we should reverse? Uh, yeah, I can reverse the ship. I like how the ships reverse at the exact same speed they go forward. I actually never noticed that. The only problem with reversing is that I can't actually see where the fuck I'm going, so oh, if I smash another into anything... One. Oh! Speaking of which... <laughs> What's wrong? I just smashed the arse end of the ship into an asteroid. It's fine, we only lost like 54 armour. I need to add like some sort of um, thing that you can stick to the outside of the hole, which is like a camera or something. Shove it on the back end of ships and then you can actually see where the hell you're going. Aren't you? Yeah, uh, I am thinking of that, but it is so fucking handy when it comes to reversing ships. I have to say though, this is difficult finding these types of resources now. Anyway, just continue uh, onwards. Okie dokie. Uh, just quickly gonna check something. I think in about... Yeah, in about 20 minutes or so, we should hit the um, stable fuel level for the ship. Uh, actually, do you know what? Well, okay, we've got 8,000 fuel, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. We still have some extra fuel here in the cargo hold. Oh, did I actually leave extra fuel in there? You left one and I brought two. Ah. Yeah, I have a habit of always leaving like a small amount of spare fuel on my ships right now. Especially since in the last uh, IR video I did, I actually found a ghost ship, like someone had got themselves stranded. And they literally just stuck the ship on set course and just left it going, I think. Sounds familiar. Seen a lot of ice asteroids around. And weirdly only one of them is popping up. Maybe it's because we're too far distance. No, but there's just so much iron and carbon. Oh, it looks like the asteroid field's starting to get a bit denser. So, don't panic if you hear something bounce off the hole. It's actually one thing I'm starting to do with all my um, ships that uh, have the ability to mine from uh, now is I'm always sticking at least a small shield generator on them so that when they're actually in these asteroid fields, they can put the shields up and then that will stop them from just being dinked by random asteroids. I put shields up up on my ships regardless of the situation. Even if it's a small one, it's still you still need a shield. Apparently the devs didn't feel the same about this ship. Speaking of which, you haven't checked out the name of the ship yet, have you? I have. <laughs> I chose to remain silent. Hey, I'm a YouTuber, I'm allowed to be immature. <laughs> uh, we 
might get ooh, dinked ooh, in a second. Stop. Oh, stopping. It does take the ship a few seconds to stop, though. Do you need me to back up? Go to an area where you see the most water, because I see that there's a bit of nitrogen here. Uh, that's funny enough, straight ahead, there's like a ton of fucking ice asteroids right ahead. Just gonna have to be careful not to fly into them. Although they all do seem to be circling quite nicely around the ship. Ooh, we found ways we found the zinc. There's a bit of zinc here as well. Shut up, phone. I thought I'd put you on silent. There we go. Ah. Oh. Let me know when you want me to mo make a move again. Oh, oh you can stop. Move. You can stop moving again. I can tell we've taken a decent amount of cargo on though, because our top speed's dropped quite considerably. It's mainly iron. We were doing like a hundred. Yeah, we were doing hundred and twenty. We're now only doing hundred and seventeen, and it's taking a lot longer for the ship to start uh, to get up that speed and slow down again. Wait a minute! Stop the ship quickly. Since you're up there, this would actually be a good a good chance for you to uh, see how the um, the sensor system works. Actually, that's a good point. I didn't even think of that. I completely forgot about the sense system. Uh, do, 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 filters. What do we want to filter out? We don't really need iron, carbon. Uh, the only problem is it doesn't name any of them. We don't want copper, iron, or carbon. We do want all of these ones, though. Scanner strength zero. Really? There we go, enabled. You know, you have to actually enable the scanners. Uh, we're not really picking up much of anything. I don't need it to pick up that. Uh, I still don't understand how the fuck these work. to say this new mining system has definitely made the uh, resource gathering a lot longer than it normally would take. I kind of like the fact that it's not just a case of flying to an asteroid field and just sit there for half an hour straight though, the fact you have actually have to kind of look. Yeah, I, I like it. But it's nice. It just takes it just takes so long, especially when you have one extractor. To be fair, how many ships do you know of that actually have more than one extractor, though? Yours, mine, your station, my station. Good point. <laughs> I don't think my station counts, though, considering, you know, it, it requires unobtainium to build the damn thing. Mine is still being built. Oh, hello. We've got... I've just... I've learned how the fucking sensors work. That's... 
Let me guess. Wow, is there okay. a sharp spike? No, they uh, turn uh, each uh, thing that you're scanning for uh, shows up on the screen, and normally you get the white bars, and they turn green. Okay, this I have to quickly see. Because at the moment the we've got a lot of water around us, but that's about it. Let's pick up the speed a little bit. Yeah, the water's just dropped off. So I'm going to start heading over towards this area. What's the fuel doing? Oh, actually, the fuel wasn't doing too badly. I always was impressed with how... Do a short burst not... of walk. Uh, short burst of walk. One sec, I need to come out of the scanner. Don't worry, I'm in the scanner. Got zinc and we've got zinc and nitrogen. Really? Yeah, check the oh, yeah. And behold, no, I think the nitrogen just uh, disappeared, so because it's not showing up on mine. I'm actually going to back the ship up a little bit just in case I overshot it. Um, just so you know, I'm just ejecting the carbon. Ah, that's fine. Carbon's not exactly the most difficult thing to find. Just don't do what you did last time and eject too much of it so that it becomes the only thing that we have to mine. <sighs> it's actually a rich asteroid near us as well. But it's completely useless. I think one of those uh, asteroids got a little Ooh. bit close to us. There you go. Got some nitrogen there. Got some nitrogen. Yeah, I saw that got spike on the sensors as well. Got a decent amount of zinc. I think that's also here. Already filled up one cargo pad of full of iron. Jeez. Found some silicon. Oh, I'm gonna have to double check that soon. What? Well, I just picked up a notification on because I use my um laptop tablet hybrid thing to handle the webcam recording and it's just popped up that apparently Amazon detected unusual activity on my account not so, me I have to go and find out who's trying to hijack my account I think I think I might know who it's probably who it probably is and it's probably only complaining because said person's in America and it's an English account so they're probably like, wait, how the fuck did you go from England to America overnight? Plane. Yeah, it's computer systems, they don't think of those sorts of things. <laughs> Again, lots of water, but not much of anything else. There's an asteroid here with just 70 carbon in it. Mm. Pure carbon asteroid. Yeah, but just 70. I kind of want to mine it just because. Well, we are on the move, so if you're going to mine it, do it quick before it disappears. It already disappeared as I click the, as I click the button. Is there any stations around that we can go to? You know, see if they have um, resources on. Do, 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 do. Let's have a look. Well, there's 
Whoa, stop, 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 stop. Quickly, you need to stop. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Like, it, it spiked to all high hell. Do you want me to back it up a little bit? No, 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 no. Don't move. One of them had already dropped off the screen. I'm not losing this one. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, gosh, they both dropped off the screen now. I'll see if I can track them down using the uh, sensors. You saw that beryllium. Yeah. Oh, why did I have to mine I'm nitrogen now? Gosh. Again, seeing water. Ah, uh, the brilliant is completely dropped off, dropped off the sensors. Damn. Can't believe we just lost that. Either way, like I was saying, there's um, about 300 GM from here. There's a ship, I think, it's either a ship or a station that's player made. And then about 100 or so GM from that, there's another one. So I can always go and, we can always go and see what the um, player made one is, because it's named really weirdly as well. Go to the player made one. There must be a reason their ship is there. Right, let's select it as target. Unless they left it running. And then... Piloting solo uh, with the ship at low warp. Oh, I love the city. No, but have, how far have you gone out? Uh, not very far. Because if you look at, because if you uh, go out far enough, you actually go beyond the warp animation, and you just see this amazing bubble on your ship. Looks like these player made objects near a planet. Again, not sure if it's a station or what, because it's got a weird name. I'm not sure what side of the planet this object is compared to us. I think it might be behind the planet in comparison. Yeah, I already know what the Black Panther is though. That's, uh, I think that's the Admiral ship. How can you tell? Uh, I saw it last time and looks like it's something that's been heavily modified so either it's a player that's been on this server for quite some time or it's the admin ship quick question is the planet we're going to a blue one yeah we just passed over it ah found it Pass over it, or was that my imagination? Must be my imagination. I'm not 
hundred percent certain, but I think this player made thing is on the move. Not very fast, mind you, but it is on the move. S O S. Yeah, the S O S is the um. Is that a request? Ghost ship. Yeah, I think so. I think they're using the uh. Right. Transponder system. Wait, is that what this is called for you? What? What the fuck is this? What? Oh no, this is this is the SRS thing from last video, but it's named differently for me now. Whoops. I wonder. Yeah, it's, it is on the move. It's moving like, I think, at 1.5 meters per second. I mean, if we had a um, cyber warfare system, we could hack the ship, go aboard, see what's going on on there. If it's just run out of fuel, just leave them some fuel or something. So I'd dump it in the cargo bay because you see, I think it's the exact same ship that we're using. Oh, it is. The only thing is, I don't recall ever seeing those windows on this ship before. Hold on, I want to quickly check something about that ship. It's just got oxygen and hydrogen on board. Don't bother. Wait, right, so it, it has hydrogen board yet. Yeah. It's... So why has it got an SOS signal on it? I don't know. Either there or someone is playing a joke. Mind if I fly? Yeah, sure, go for it. Alright, alright. I'm currently cruising at 2 meters a second. Devs have got an endless supply of shit to put in, so I'm sure they'll have something which will just blow us away. Well, they did say at one point. Well, they, well, one of them did tell me that at one point in the game there is going to be farming, but that's very, very later. Farming? Farming for what? Plants, I, I think. Oh, you mean actual like food farming? Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, we're... So they're going to be introducing, like, a hydrophonic sort of system? I'm hoping so. Actually, that would be pretty neat if they did do that, like, have some sort of system where you could have a ship that produces its own oxygen, but it just costs, like, a metric crap ton of power or something. Oh, I actually never thought of it. Thought of it like that before. I literally just thought of a normal survival situation. <laughs> Did you go down says? I wanted to check what was in the asteroids nearby. Oh my word, wait a minute. Well, you know you can come to this console over here. I've got the sensors uh, scanning the asteroids close by. It 
It's a big blue gas giant. Which way? That way. Which one? Uh, that one. Oh, oh. Sensors are lighting up a bit. I'm just gonna pop myself in the seat next to you and put the sensors up on that screen. I picked up some silicone. Actually, silicon. Is it silicone or silicon? I know there are two. Two of them. One means one thing, and the other means something else. Honestly, on this game, I just call it the dark green shit. It's a bit long-winded, don't you think? Yeah, but I'm overcomplicated like that. Actually, that's a point. How the fuck are we doing for fuel? Because the last thing we want to do is run out of fuel here. We can always request uh, some services. Work. Yeah, but we know how that went last time. It should be fixed. And we have plenty yeah, of power um, stored in the batteries. Just added a bit of fuel there. Oh yeah, actually I completely forgot we even had the uh, spare fuel. Let's point, how's the um, batteries on this doing for charge? Because I know this ship does have one of the uh, big batteries that has like a persistent power drain. It actually has two of them. Oh, one of them's almost... Actually it has four... Five. Wait, no, it's got... Two normal ones back there. It's got three down here. Two of them are nearly full. One of them is not even remotely full. I wonder if that's how this ship actually manages to cope with its power demand, considering that. I've tried to make a ship similar to this several times, and the power demand is always enormously high. Well, they are designed for a... well, those batteries are designed for a slow release. Yeah, that must be how they get around it, then. Whoa! Accidentally clicked out. That's interesting. Do you know, I'd never actually thought of doing that with these. What? The little uh, low walls. I'd never actually thought of using them like this. Really? I have never. Re yeah, I've never really paid much attention to this room because, well, to be honest, next to bloody scroll invasions, you don't really need to go in there. What was that? You kind of really don't need the ship. Plus, I, I like the ship and all, but my, the only downside to me is it needs a shield. Mm. It's just too vulnerable. Especially being a mining ship. For all it is, though, it does a pretty damn good job of it. Oh, definitely. I think maybe we should find a station to go and refine some of this uh, stuff. I think we should clear the fuck out of here. Because I don't know if that's what I think it is, but I'm just going to free cam over there to find out. Because if it's what I think it is, we're going to need to get out of here pretty quick. Uh oh. Uh, also, they just disappeared. Yeah, I'm having that s same same problem with my free camming around. But on the other end, there's a lot of nitrogen nearby. Like, a lot. But just to stop for now, there's one with 700 nitrogen in it, and I kind of don't want to miss that. 
Well, they're not showing up on the free cam, so I'll just keep an eye on. Oh, wait. They're not even. Are we on the move? Are we actually moving? I feel like I can hear oh, yeah, we are. We're moving. Yeah, we're moving at like 10 meters a second. I thought you just not powered the ship down fully and it was moving at like 0.5 meter per second or something. But no, apparently we were actually on the move. Yeah, I actually think we really do need to go to a refinery station and refine some of the stuff. Or at least just dump it in, in the co in the um uh in the thing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just a little bit concerned because those, um, what I saw earlier was a group of, well, quite a large group of Skrill, and I don't know where they've gone. And honestly, I don't really want to find out. No, that is a terrifying thought. It's very, very quiet all of a sudden. Game, are you warming us up for something? You're about to dick us over. Not with this cargo. Oh no, if we start getting shot at or something, I'm taking off out of here at from supersonic speeds. I will overload the engines if I have to. Not sure how I'd do Actually, that would be a pretty cool thing for them to add into the game the ability to overpower your engines. That's an interesting idea, actually. I'm just thinking now that you need to have heat sinks in your engines as well. Yeah, either have heat sinks in your engines, or you can do it without heat sinks, but it would cause damage to them. Hmm. We are chock full of good ideas. Anyway, I think it's it's best if we go and refine this stuff. Yeah, agreed. Seeing a lot of rocks just floating around. I think I'm getting the rock crazies. What do you think they cause cabin fever but in space? Say again? What do you think they'd call cabin fever, but if it was space in a spaceship? Hmm. I think there is a name for it, I just can't remember. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think. I'm sure there's a name for it. I just, for the live me, I can't pick it out of my brain. So I'm just looking at the skybox, I'm just noting there's some really fucking odd lights at points. I don't know if that's just the window or... wait... Is this window dirty? I don't know if it's just my imagination or not, but at certain points it looks like the window's got dirt on it. Sorry, I've been free camming around now and I, th and I lost our ship for a moment. And I lost it again. I'm moving too fast for our own ship. Wait, how the hell are you moving too fast for our own ship? Are our ships standing still? Well, the thing about free cam is you know how it can some the speed can sometimes vary. Oh my good god. Your name tag was freaking out. What do you mean? Well, you, uh, see that back wall over there? Yep. According to your name tag, you were higher than it. Well, I was at one point outside the ship around there. Oh, great. Sure, I think it'd be kind of cool if oh they had the ability to walk around the outside of your ship. Wait, what? <laughs> Remember the, the time when I told you it looked like your character committed suicide by jumping out of the front window? Did it do it again? Yes. 
to be fair, that does sound like something I do just for shits and gigs. I mean, if I'm wearing a spacesuit with a helmet, I would definitely jump out the front window, like jump through it, just to see what happens. Am I wearing a helmet? And then, yeah. Wait, did you just get out the... Did you just put us in warp with no one piloting the ship? Yes. Oh, okay. Don't worry, we're still on course. Well, if we're only at the uh, first level warp, I highly doubt it's gonna make much difference if there's anyone piloting it or not. There we go. Yeah, it's only just occurred to me how weird looking the so tell me, how do I look? excavator actually is. Oh, I'm free camming at the moment. I'm trying to get outside of the uh, bubble so I can have a look at it. Yeah. Even if we run out of fuel, your engines should last a little bit. Good God, the wall bubble it creates is enormous. I know. It's so fucking big. Oh my god, what am I doing to my screen? I wonder how big of a ship you'd have to build in order to have parts of it sticking outside of that wall bubble. I don't know, is that even possible? Because it could be, because it could grow oh, like the shield bubble does, depending on the size of your ship. Yeah, I suppose it's possible. I don't understand why they make it so big though. I mean, in comparison to this ship, the bubble's enormous. Oh wait, your helmet's gone now. Yep. In fact, I wasn't even I didn't even know you could take your helmet off. 